decided to do a very short insert video on building the Hasty Hydro, and this is going to be a quick look at uh, epoxy. We get a lot of requests on our website about epoxy use and how to apply it and all sorts of stuff. So I'm going to take this opportunity to show you what we use. And in this case, what I want to do with my newly installed motorboard transom is I want to fill in these countersunk screw holes on the motorboard here. We've used a number of epoxy brands over the years, but we always seem to come back to the West system. The nice thing about using the West system epoxy is that the mixing of the hardener with the epoxy is based on a system of pumps. Now you have to buy these separately. They come in a package here and this particular one, I don't know, I think it was about $18 at West Marine. I can also get it at my local hardware store and uh, other building supply stores. The great thing about using this epoxy is that the ratio of hardener to epoxy is all automated because of these pumps. So it's simply one pump of the epoxy with one pump of the hardener. And I just mix it in margarine containers here. I just collect margarine containers over the years. Um, I have a huge stock of uh, disposable gloves on hand and plastic cutlery. The only disadvantage of the epoxy is it can be a little pricey and a little expensive. So case in point, most stores in the area, and I'm quoting Canadian prices, um, this runs probably somewhere between $100 and $115 per gallon. And the hardener here is anywhere between $49 and $55. The good news is that really a gallon of the epoxy and uh, a quart or a liter, whatever, of the hardener is pretty well all you need to do a typical sea flea. The other thing we use quite a bit is the adhesive fillers here. And these are two that I use on a very regular basis. There's the 403, which is a, a, a higher density filler, and then the 407, which is a low density. The 407 is kind of brown looking, and it's a very sort of powdery substance. And I like using this just as a general filler. It's not for strength, and it's very, very easy to sand. The high density filler here, it's like a white powder. And I'm just gonna sprinkle some out here. I use this if I want to uh, fasten two pieces of wood together. It's, it's very, very hard to sand, but it's very, very strong. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put on my disposable gloves here because this epoxy is really hard to get off your hands. It's really, really sticky stuff. So I've got a couple of mixing sticks here. I've got my margin container and I've got the uh, filler that I'm going to use. So all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pump this. Now this is a new pump, so I've gotta prime it. So there's one pump of the resin. I'm gonna put two pumps in here. and then two pumps of the hardener. And again, these are new pumps I've just bought, so I may have to prime it. So there's one, and there's two. And that's the exact ratio I need. So when you put it in, it, it's kind of clear. The uh, hardener is a little light brownie, and I'm gonna mix it up here. And now what I'm going to do is I'm simply going to add the low density filler. And I kind of add enough to make it like peanut butter. So this is the consistency I'm looking for. It's still pliable, 
but it's not too drippy. The only thing you have to be careful of is if a big glop of epoxy sits in a pot for a while, it may go off a little quicker, which essentially means that the thicker it is, the more intense the chemical reaction between the hardener and the resin. And I've actually seen these pots get so hot because of the chemical reaction that it starts to smoke and I've actually seen this plastic melt. That usually happens um, on a warm day, but because I'm in my basement here and it's a little cool, and because I have the filler mixed in, it's not gonna set off as quickly as I want. So, here's what I'm gonna do. Um, I just have a regular old, uh, I don't know, one of these things here, and I'm just gonna scoop it up and start filling in these screw holes. see here it was two pumps of resin and two pumps of hardener and I still have a ton of filler left so I'm just gonna go around and just start filling things and that's all there is to it <laughs> 